Hi, I'm Nona Melkonian with SFGovTV. I'm here to discuss Proposition D, a ballot measure which will be before the voters on Tuesday, November 5th. San Francisco spends more than $23 million per year on prescription drugs for health services it provides at SF General Hospital, Laguna Honda Hospital, City Clinics, and the SF County Jail. Currently, city law authorizes the public health department to use outside companies to negotiate drug prices with drug manufacturers. Prop D would make it city policy to use all available ways to reduce the city's cost of prescription drugs. It would set policy that the city continue to negotiate directly with drug manufacturers to reduce medication costs. Prop D would also set policy that the city ask the state and federal representatives to sponsor legislation to reduce by one-third drug prices paid by government. If you vote yes, you want to make it city policy to use all available ways to reduce the city's cost of prescription drugs, and you want the city to ask state and federal representatives to sponsor legislation to reduce drug prices paid by government. If you vote no, you do not want to adopt this policy. I'm here with Henny Kelly from the San Francisco Democratic Party and proponent of Proposition D. Welcome. Thank you. We're also joined by Terrence Faulkner, former member of the United States President's Executive Awards Committee and an opponent to the measure. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'd like to start with Ms. Kelly. Why do you feel this proposition is so important? Well, this is the first in the nation on drug pricing. This is a policy that will put San Francisco in the forefront of fighting for lower priced drugs. It is very important that we do this. I know this for a fact. I have a sister who has Parkinson's, a best friend who has diabetes. Sometimes people have to decide between food and medicine because it is so expensive. And what this does is it allows our city to go on record to ask for fair pricing on drugs, to bargain for fair pricing on drugs the way that the Veterans Administration does. And it only applies to the money that the city pays for drugs. Those drugs go to people with HIV AIDS, they go to children, and they go to poor seniors and disabled people. This will allow them to have more money for the drugs that these people need and not have to turn them away. That is all it is doing. It is a policy and it also will ask our legislators in the city and our legislators in the state to work for this fair drug pricing within the state and within the national government. And this is what we need to bring the ACA up and to help it very much. Thank you. Mr. Faulkner, would you like to speak for the opposition? Right. Um, this is an ancient discussion about what is the just price. St. Augustine touched on that. Cicero touched on it, the Roman order, many. Um, what we really need in this whole thing is money is needed for research. This particular dispute uh, started over the pricing of uh, T-Bolt, which is a uh, AIDS drug, and its cost. It's put out by Gilead Scientific, um, and people objected to the cost. Uh, on the other hand, the cost of, of developing the drug went in the, into the hundreds of millions, and that's why the costs are so high. Um, it's, a, it's a difficult problem. Uh, the, the city government here in San Francisco has been paying the costs for Stribold, um, which is an important drug. If this drug did not exist, there's many people who wouldn't be alive. Um, we need the money uh, for, the, for the groups uh, that do the research. More drugs fail than, than are successful. Just two days ago, on October 8th, um, Ariad Pharmaceuticals uh, opened at $17.14. The next day, it was down to $5.83. Um, $11.31 decline in one day. Uh, 66 percent. Uh, its particular cancer drug ran into some problems. Uh, that's typical of what happens. I cite another one in my ballot argument on this where there was a sudden drop back in August. These repeatedly happen. Um, you have to compensate uh, your research companies properly. 
Otherwise, they're not going to be in the field, and it's going to cost lives. I mean, this is the position of the United States Congress, both House and Senate. They have generally taken a very tolerant line on uh, medical research companies because they've got to encourage them in order to save lives. Thank you. Ms. Kelly, while this sounds like a great change and a steer in the right direction, many people are reluctant to believe that they'll really see a difference. What do you have to say to that? Well, I'd really like to talk a little bit about what the opponent of this just said. I don't have the money to buy drugs myself. I also don't have the money to buy stock in drugs company. Let me just tell you something. The CEOs make hundreds of millions of dollars. There is enough money for R&D. Every year, these drug companies have a profit. Every year, more people can't afford their medication. There's a difference between being very rich and ridiculously rich. And when this gentleman says that uh, Congress wants the, the pharmacies to have the money for this. Congress wants the money from the pharmacists to keep running for office. They spend more money on politics and fighting against things like this than a lot of them spent on R&D. I really believe that this is extremely important. This is going to help the people of San Francisco. It works in every other country. We are the only country that is gouged like this. Israel isn't, Canada isn't, France isn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mr. Faulkner, would you like to weigh in? The truth is uh, we have the best pharmaceutical research in the world. Uh, we've done it because we have a lot of money to do it. Um, a lot of companies do lose money and lose a tremendous amount of money uh, on things. I can guarantee you Ariad Pharmaceuticals is going to lose money this year. I can also guarantee you Dendron is going to take a big dumping. Both their drugs have more or less failed. A lot of companies run into these problems. Gilead Scientific has, in this case, worked out fairly well. Their, their new dr drug, Strebold, uh, is a combination of about four different uh, drugs that they put together in one pill for AIDS. I understand the AIDS Foundation and why they object, that they'd like to cut prices. On the other hand, that next drug that needs to be developed, they're going to need money for it. Uh, if we start cutting back too much on the money available to drug research companies, it's going to cost lives. It's going to cost results. We have the best medical establishment in the world on research. Um, if we want to cut it down and cut back on its costs, we can do it. It's going to cost lives, though. I mean, it's a value judgment on what do you do. As I said at the start, the just price has been something debated for 2,000 years. St. Augustine and the City of God discussed it. Uh, Cicero, the Roman orator, discussed it. It's really a very difficult thing to say. But in this case, the drug companies need the money for the kind of medical research we want. Some of the smaller countries are able to uh, use their fact that they're sovereign countries to, frankly, invade our patents and do cut rate versions of our, of our drugs. If we did not go ahead and do our medical research, um, a lot of drugs would not exist. A lot of people would die a lot younger. Um, in not, in, two, in uh, the year 1900, the average person lived to be um, 46 years of age. Now they live to be about 80. All right, thank you. Ms. Kelly, would you and, like to respond? And I'm looking forward to living to be about 80. Um, you know, I, I, I read a lot of Cicero, uh, but I'm not interested in what Cicero had to say. I'm interested in human beings. We are not asking for a lot. Drug prices have gone up. When this gentleman says that we, uh, many people will die, many people right now are not getting their medication and are dying. Many people cannot get it. We are asking for fair prices. We are not asking to take money away from ERD. And you know, it's really interesting when a drug company fails, everybody feels so terrible. And uh, I can see that. You want them, you want them to succeed. And nobody faults the drug company. I've been a teacher for 40 years. If a student fails, they tell me there's something wrong with me. 
I think there's something wrong with the pharmaceutical industry if they cannot keep their prices down, if they cannot forego those high, high, high salaries in order to save people. That's what their job is. It's not just to make money. And they can do it. 18,000 people signed this ballot measure to get it on board. Everybody is backing this ballot measure. People that haven't spoken to each other for 20 years in San Francisco are backing this because this is good for the people of San Francisco and California. Mr. Faulkner, do you have any response? Yes. I don't really care whether drug companies fail as such. I care if medical research gets interrupted uh, because that's what costs, costs lives. Uh, the individual fortunes of the companies and their bottom line, I don't care about so much. But I do care about the net result of American medical research, which lives are riding on. And that's where I do favor using the money. I also, in my argument that I put in the voter's handbook, said there's also some good nonprofits to donate to. And I listed them, the American Cancer Society, American Heart Association, with their telephone numbers and all the rest. I certainly urge private individuals to donate to those efforts as well. Um, we need, frankly, a lot more medical research than we have right now, not less. And I, admittedly, it's a, it's, a hard, it's a lot of hard choices either way, but if we're try, if trying to save a maximum number of lives, uh, the more medical research, the better. Thank you. So we have a little time left, and I'd like to close the program with a few comments from each of you. Mm -hmm. Ms. Kelly? I donate to almost every medical nonprofit. I even walk for AIDS, for diabetes, for breast cancer. My sister is a breast cancer survivor. I walk for Parkinson's. She's a Parkinson's survivor. But I am telling you, people are turned away from clinics. People have to choose between their food and their drugs. We need we need to serve more people. We are not going to hurt the pharmaceutical industry. We are just asking them to give us, for these people, the children, the elders, the disabled, and those suffering from HIV AIDS a little help. And I think they can do it. And I think it would help them to be helping us. Thank you. Mr. Faulkner? As an elected Central Committeeman um, since 1974, I've seen uh, a lot of people who had AIDS and various other afflictions die. Um, what's happened is, with modern medical research, they're starting to get some positive results. Um, money is needed for medical research. Um, I hate to be a money grubber on this, but that money is needed, it's gonna save lives. Um, in practice, those who have HIV AIDS um, in San Francisco are well provided for in drugs. The city government pays a lot of the costs, and that's fine. I just wanted, I want the drugs available to help people, because I've known people, and, and Mrs. Kelly has too, who have died of these afflictions. And it, the value, my valuing is that I favor medical research um, promoted by every ethical method. Thank you. We hope that this discussion has been informative. For more information on this and other ballot measures in this year's election, please visit San Francisco Election Department's website at sfelections.org. Remember, early voting is available at City Hall Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you don't vote early, be sure to vote on November 5th.